to go back to part three to part three. Chunk of money on if you want to solve it and if you solve it, you get a version because copyright reason we see full commercial of this and other things. Oh, yeah, you got rid of the Patreon it. or channel memberships. Yeah, I'll put a link in the description show, pinning comments. You go check that out. Oh, yeah, and at the end of this part, we will talk about the movie and review it. Let's finish this movie, huh? Okay. Beautiful. He's gonna fight him. It, they're gonna get down to the water and he's gonna drown him in the sea. Come on. Just get to the water. Yep. She'll come to him now. The wave will come in. Where did he go? I think Mama Dunn snuck him away and she's gonna kick your butt. Very plausible a ship will come by. Very believable. Coastal people. Once again, they just hired locals. Yeah. I hope he has health insurance. <laughs> <laughs> or he wouldn't get no treatment here. We need to talk to you. You need to talk to you, Marianne. Are you okay? Marianne, are you okay, Marianne? Oh, this is awesome. She doesn't know. Is that where he left her? Perfect. She would need to make sure that's real. Well directed. Or done by her. Thank you. Healthy, pretty cats, man. Soda well cats too. Yeah, that that that's a. That's you wearing? Is it silver? That, platinum? No, that's a difference. platinum. That's a platinum. The silver one is it's a little shinier looking. Uh, the the platinum shiny, is yeah. yeah. Okay. No, that that's a platinum. Um, particularly driven by the performances of Danush and Parvati. They they were beautiful. Are they good actors? I can't tell. Just really gorgeous. It's, again, one of those things where I wish we had seen this before we got to talk to her, but we'll talk to her again. Yeah, we'll talk, we'll talk to her again. Um, that was uh, a, Beautiful. Great, a great film. And this is 
in my opinion, I know people that love this movie, this is what the goat life wanted to be. I was gonna say that! It might be based off of it. I was gonna say that. Because there's a that. lot of similarities in terms of like the yep. story, right? It, I, it might like this. This might have been loosely based off of that man's story. Could have been, but I I almost there was said a lot that of, a lot of similarities when he was going through the desert. I almost said this is what I wanted the goat life to be. Yeah. Yep. Um, in all aspects, one the attachment aspect. So they, and I don't always love it, but this one it worked very very well in terms of like you start off and then you go flashback. Right. But they did it right at the be, uh, right at the, the front, the, the front. So, yeah. Um, it's not like the uh, even though we didn't have an issue with it per se. The last new film we saw, which we really enjoyed in um, a Sudan, right? Yeah. They they did it halfway into the movie when you're already invested right. in the first story. Right. Even and it took us out. You, you got reinvested. They did, but it but, but it doesn't yeah. work as this well. One, obviously, it was like they did the one scene and then it went full on flashback so you can get attached to the characters. Yeah. And it worked very well. And uh, the direction was really nice. The Obviously, the performance. This is what I wanted from the goat life. And spectacular. Spectacular casting with the African cast members. Yeah, it had to have been great just, casting. I don't know if they were actually actors or if they just hired local people. Regardless, hats off. How, to, whoever um, you did it, it worked. Um, they because you were you were invested, and I loved how much just like all of the underwater sequences, the use of the real cats. I loved that the choices were made for practicality yeah, by uh, Bharat Pala. The uh, all of the practicality. The the cheetahs worked so well because they looked real, as opposed to what the goat life did with that buzzard scene. And they were going for the same kind of thing there. In, well, in and the things goat like life, having a the, having the a CGI. ram smash him in the head, yeah. and it not kill him and snap yeah. his neck. Um, um, there was obviously you know, we're not going to rehash what we thought about goat life, but yeah. this is just what I thought it was going for. Even though I know there was a bunch of people that loved the goat life, but it was this is what we wanted from the goat life: the believability of it, the the high production of it, the the um, the caring of the characters, and and. The scene where he was on the phone is with her. Yeah, yeah, when he when he was supposed to be talking to his boss, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that is that scene is so difficult to do because neither one of them are getting to work off of one another. Those were filmed on two separate days, mm -hmm. and I don't know if they had the luxury of them both being there to hear each other's voices. More than likely, they didn't. They just had to imagine it. You think so? I think they I do. imagine they I most, think most most I mean obviously they're busy but most actors will do that for other actors. They will but they weren't in the same locations. That's true but I I, so, I find it hard to believe. Most most phone conversations are filmed without the other person on the phone. The other actor. You usually have to imagine it's them. Uh that was from both of them, so good. Their performances were just stellar. This is one of my favorites. And had we seen this, I mean, the channel didn't exist when this came out. Yeah. But I would have been singing the praises of this movie all year long, as well as th this would have gotten for me direction, picture, actor, actress, uh, score. Well, it was one of the most gorgeous Aramon scores. Beautiful. I've ever heard. Oh, that song. Yeah. Um, one of my only issues is more in the front half. I do think some of the talking scenes were a little overscored, not or that the music was just too loud in some of the scenes. Yeah, it didn't bother me. I didn't bother you. Nah. Uh, in the beginning parts, there was a lot more. Um, just like it was like I would have much rather them turn up the dialogue a little bit and down the um. But that was the only. And then I'm nitpicking here. Um, uh, one of the only issues I really had. Um, I mean, you could you could I guess nitpick some of the fight scenes, but it it, it was it wasn't an issue really for me. Um, that all requires more money, and I bet the budget on this was very very small. Yeah, I have no issues with. I don't any know what the budget was, but they did a lot with whatever budget they had. Getting all practical, I think, is so much smarter. Absolutely, it is. Um, and, and and shooting underwater, hats off. That's not easy. Not easy to do. That is hard work for everybody involved. Everybody involved. That is hard work. And and just from start to finish it's what an elevative film is all about the, the 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 king is story we had a great story and then you have superlative acting from your leads and supporting cast and then you have it absolutely wonderfully 
orchestrated and directed by the director's choices with all cinematography, so many different beautiful things. I would love when, not if, when I watch this again, there's so many other nuances I'm going to be looking for that are messaging that the director gave to us in the cinematography that were really, really subtle. Some I picked up on. There's others I know I missed. God, Dinoosh and Parvati's performance was phenomenal. Just gorgeous. Their chemistry was off the charts. Off the charts. Um, I loved off the Par charts. I loved Parvati's character. Um, I thought it, she was a... And, uh, obviously, we, we are still kind of really just getting to know her, even though yeah. we've seen quite a, a, a bit a of few her now. work. Um, before we got to talk to her, but um, you could tell just talking to her as as a real person that we got to interact with her. She's a strong, strong person woman. that yeah. that knows what she wants, um, believe, believes in what she believes, and will fight for that yeah. kind of stuff. Uh, and that comes across when she's playing those style yes. of characters. Not that she can only play those, but man, does that fieriness always come out? Yeah, and very alive, yeah. uh, very. You know, I, I'm sure working with her is a delight because you can tell just when you interact with her in person, she's giving you all of herself in the moment. Mm -hmm. And I, you can tell she does that as an actress. She's, she's, she's as well, obviously, yeah, but just, we haven't t got to talk to him. She's just going to give you all of who she is in the moment. Uh, she's going to be raw. She is not afraid of making a fool of herself if she needs to. Whatever needs to be done in the moment, she's going to do it and not think about. That's the other quality she has that's really wonderful is that for being such a beautiful woman. She's not conscious of that in any way and is unafraid to do things that make her look unattractive because for her, it has nothing to do with any of that. It has to do with what am I doing in this scene? Why do I want what I want? How am I gonna get what I want? And uh, it, it, it helps that, that, I mean, virtually every frame of film on this, she's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, and Danush was, this is my favorite Danush performance. I'd have to think about that. Yeah, this one's this I, one's my favorite. I have a lot of Danush performances I like. I like. Uh, I do too. But this a, one's this one's my favorite. Um, because I mean, even in that one we saw last year, the the, the rom com, he's always good. Um, Ashuran mm -hmm. that we just saw. I mean, this is what we're doing back to back Dama Nadush film. I mean, um, Danush films. Um, he's a he's a great actor. Great actor. Um, we've known that. What uh, a talent. I mean, great actor, not just a good dancer, a great dancer. He's probably the one that's going to be able a to good singer much farther down his career, be able to compete with what Kamal has done in the industry, just because of how versatile he is. He, he yeah. can direct, he can act, he can write, he can sing, he can compose, he can stunt, he can he can do all these things and um, surrounds himself with the best of the best. Yeah, um, I mean, he knows who to collaborate with. Um, yeah, I, I just this this. I I'm so happy Peta. with how good this was. Um and I know I can't wait to watch this one again. And it was um it was one that wasn't also I don't think it was like this. I know the music is part of like basically Damo called it's one of the greatest A. Roman scores we've heard for sure. For sure. Uh I mean it's that hard. song it's, it's really difficult to come up with like a top ten A. Roman album because the dude, virtually impossible the dude has a hundred no but this albums. this one's special yeah this one oh. it, it felt very different in terms of like how powerful the, the song and i bet in the the original Tamil language it's even more pretty and i was waiting so many different moments i just was you know praying please stay intact stay intact because the we say this a lot the making of a good film is a minor miracle yeah yeah, yeah. and and when you feel a film has hit a groove of greatness you're you're just hoping, please don't get out of your groove, man. Somehow, some way, let the miracle continue. Especially when you reach the climax and the resolution. Like at that last shot, yeah. when they were looking at each other and he told her to shush. I loved, and I don't know if it was directed or if she chose it, irrespective of it. She had to touch him to make sure it was real. And they're touching each other's faces, and he says, shh, and then it goes to the water, and then it says, a film by yeah. Harat, and I thought... And then she didn't start breaking down. Yes! She was in his arms. In his arms, yeah. and could smell him. Yeah. I, 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 and to end it there, I was hoping, please don't give us an epilogue that we don't need right now. We don't need to see them with their kids five years down the road. Just end <laughs> it with them on this rock, please. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the longing of wanting them to get together... 
even obviously when he's made some awful decisions as a person. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Very uh, toxic, horrible, yeah, broken decisions. Obviously, I, I'm assuming it's just because, you know, I think somebody said it's how he was brought up. It was the culture he was in. And it's his, it's his no, way to push her away for, no to, to preserve her. No excuse. No but excuse. That, that's what obviously what the it, character was. And it reminds me of how I felt when in Cutter Singh, yeah. when he hits her, it's inexcusable. Yet you have an understanding and an empathy for where it's coming from because it's coming from a place of such deep brokenness that it doesn't excuse it. Yeah. But it gives you a sense of we're all human beings. And at the end of the day, we all do some pretty tragic yeah. stuff that we regret later. Uh, another beautiful moment. I'm sure you picked up on it when mm -hmm. he first starts to have the hallucination yeah. visualization of her in the desert. Yep. It's one of her tears that lands on his mouth. Yeah. Gorgeous. And it wasn't her name. Gorgeous. Like, I I don't know. Okay, let's say. I guess we just say. It. As were some of those lyrics, like we pointed out that lyric of the the you know your song is the uh, the music to that my my bangles dance to or sing to or something like that. Tell me if this is. Um, I'm just reading into this. Her name is Rita. Uh, Pani Malar, and he calls her Pani, which means water. Huh? Is that did I pick uh, up on that correctly? Is it water universally? Because Bonnie. it's... I think so. I think he called it her a lot. And so I think that was yeah. intentional. He, I think she, that would make sense. She is his water. That or, would make, or, well, because his name had a meaning. He said it at the beginning of the film about how he cannot be uh, he cannot be killed or he cannot be ended. Yeah. Something along those lines. I thought all the supporting did very well as Great well. jobs. Uh, the, the villain in this. and then His uh, buddy. Uh, yeah, his buddy. Um, the Somalian. Uh, the mom. Yeah. Are they, wait, wait, were they Potty Somalian? mouth mama. Were they Somalian or were they... Uh, Sudanese. Sudan. Yeah, Sudan. 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 Yeah. Uh, Scott, whatever you did, you should tell the entire Indian Industry. cinema uh, to do what you did. That's how you cast non-Indians in a film. Um, Perfect. Uh, it was, they were phenomenal. Um, they were like, as good. That, it reminded me of Beast of No Nation. They, they were as scary and unnerving as the people in Beast of No Nation, which is an Oscar-level that's film. where we know him from. The bad guy. Oh yeah, He's the bad guy in Jailer. Jailer. I think we've seen him more than that. He just didn't have as much hair on his face yeah, in Jailer. Yeah. I don't think. Yeah, I was like, we've seen him. A it's lot. those eyes. We have seen him before though. Uh, and then he's excellent. Uh, was which one was the potty mouth mama? Is this her? Man, if it is, what a transformation! I don't. Know. I don't remember. Regardless, uh, phenomenal movie. Loved it. Phenomenal. Uh, one of your first platinums of the year. It's been a, yeah. Uh, I don't. I, I don't, don't remember. I have to look at the list to see what my last platinum was. Uh, I don't remember it offhand. Yeah, there you go. But uh, phenomenal movie. Um, I'm glad our our back to back Danush uh, films have uh, have worked. Um, As has our Barvati I, films. It, no. Well, Quap Quap single. I, that's true. I'm thinking. I, I remember. I get rid of that. Those is ones. funny though. That was the back to back undercurrent Danush and back to back. Uh, yeah. uh, Bar Parvati. No, undercurrent. Uh, but the issue with Quap uh, Quap single it was not really Parvati's fault. No. It was <laughs> a lot of other things, uh, <laughs> including mostly the dubbing, yeah. uh, <laughs> which I think a lot of this was actually dubbed. There was. But it was done much, Very well. much better. <laughs> much better dubbing. Uh, than, uh, than what we saw from Quap Quap single. Yep. Uh, phenomenal. I had, she, also, I don't know if she's, I've seen her look more gorgeous in a film. Yeah, she was... Stunningly beautiful. I don't know what they did differently. I think they did darken her skin a little bit, which we've seen before. Whatever. Uh, like, it was, it was a Rithikin uh, Super Third. Yeah. Like they darkened his skin. Because he's a playing bit. a real guy. Yeah. Uh, but what? regardless, her eyes really popped in this. Yeah, everything. Her, uh, just everything. And she gave a great performance, obviously. That goes without saying for her. She, uh, many times, just for both of them, Danush and, and Parvati. You could just see the tiredness and the the exhaustion on their face from, you know, crying, worrying, staying up, not sleeping. I also believe they were in love with each other. The oh, chemistry yeah. was wonderful. Um, phenomenal. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you saw us on YouTube, you saw a very cut-up version because of copyright reasons. If you cycle to the full encouragement of this and other Donald films, including the last one, which was the uh, Danush um, uh, 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 Ashuran, I think is what it was called. Um, you can head over to Patreon or China Memphis. I'll put the link in the description below. Income to go check this out. Let us know what our next watch along for both Danush or Poverty or other Tamil films. And this director. Director as well. Uh, what other films of his should we see? Uh, let us know down in the comments below. Upvote it so I can see it. And um, let us know what you thought about the movie. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, why? What are your reasons? Please let us know. And uh, on to the next watch along!